nice to see you here. How was your slumber? Oh, you're going back? What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Leonard wanted to say hello. Hello. In today's vlog, I'm gonna show you guys a few things I wanna do. I'm gonna show you guys some holiday decor I picked up. As you guys know, it's the first Christmas in my new house, so I went a little bit crazy. I went to Linen Chest and they had the cutest holiday stuff. I'm gonna show you guys me putting that out in my house. I'm so excited. And then I wanna make an at-home peppermint white mocha because this year, those are the drinks I've been loving from Starbucks. I'm really excited that I'm partnering with Linen Chest on this video. They, I did a few hauls with them. Like I've, I've shopped with them for so long. It's like literally when I moved, I got so many things. Like their salad bowl, they have this salad bowl that I use literally every day. But when I first moved, I got so much of my stuff from Linen Chest and then I went in for the holidays and the whole store was decorated really cute. Um, so I'll show you guys that now. So I am in here. I wanna look for table stuff and just some overall holiday decor. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. There's a lot of cute things here. Oh, that's cute. I I have to find decor for my table too. Look how cute this is to put little a plant in. I have a million pots, but I think I need this one too. That looks cool. Look, they even have a baked brie skillet. And they give you all the stuff for baked brie. I want both of them. Cookie and brie? Yeah. And then you get to keep the skillet. I want this. Is this what you were talking about? Yeah. Oh, there's the pack of three for $30. For $30. Those are really cute, Tonzi. Perfect for hosting. I'm oh, sorry, don't mind my band-aid. I cut it on a can. I think you can get two of them. And then you can place them in the center of the table. I like it. Look how beautiful this is. It has gold details. That is stunning, and it's $129. That makes a great gift. And I can't live without my milk frother. I got it here, actually. It's on sale. I love these serving spoons. I also like the bowl. Do you like the bowl? It looks like it's the perfect thing to make a trifle. Or banana pudding. Look at these little baby slippers. Look at this Ugg blanket. I think I want to get it from my bed. It looks like the perfect color. I'm going to get it. I'm actually hosting Christmas this year. My very first time hosting any holiday for my entire family. So I wanted to go and see if I could pick up a few things for that. And then there's just, I got carried away. I got carried away. Um, they have everything there, everything you could possibly need. I had to control myself, but I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. I got a lot of cute things for the holidays and not for the holidays, but if you're looking for some holiday items, they definitely got you covered. The thing I'm most excited about is this super soft blanket. I actually got this for my bed. It's an Ugg blanket. They also have slippers there, but I have about 50 pairs, so I definitely didn't need any. But I'm so excited, you know, just curling up on the sofa, in bed, with this super soft Ugg blanket. I wanna open it up. I know Leo is going to take this for his own, but I'm not allowing it. It's literally the softest thing I've ever felt, and it's big. He's already burying himself in it. So that's like, the, that's like one of the big things I picked up. The next thing I picked up is this super adorable teapot. So I've been really into teas recently and my family is a big fan of tea, especially after dinner. So I thought instead of just making everyone their own individual tea, I can make a pot of tea and then just you know, if people want, they can pour it into their cups. But look at that, it goes with the decor of my house perfectly. You guys know I look like creamy white and black and gold, and so this has it all. They also had matching cups, but I just picked up the teapot. As I mentioned, one of my favorite bowls, um, salad bowls, is from Linen Chest. It has these little two wooden spoons that like sit on the end. But I saw this one, and this is good for either like being a decorative bowl, you can serve a nice salad in it, it's just a glass bowl. As I mentioned, I went for some holiday decor and look at what they had. These are going right on my coffee table, like a little snow covered tree situation. I picked up two of them because I wanted them to kind of like sit lined up, but now I need to stop buying little Christmas trees because I have about a million of them. And I picked up, I need to get actually a plant or a flower for this. 
but I picked up this pot that also has, it's like a concrete pot that has little green Christmas trees. So for holiday decor, until I have like children, I am going to keep it very simple and minimal. Well, still be gonna be a little bit extra, but I wanna keep the tones, like the similar tones to my house. So a lot of like wood and then like neutral tones, concrete. So I just, I really loved how this looked. I don't know where that's gonna go yet. And then I picked up, oh, I did buy them. These are the utensils that were in the salad bowl that really caught my eyes. A lot of my utensils are gold and I just think it just makes your, when you're serving, it just makes it look really pretty. So I picked up those gold utensils to serve um, the salad with. And then I picked up, this was, ooh, this was cool. This is a cookie, chocolate chip cookie mix. And they also give you like a little cast iron kind of skillet, just keep to use after. They also had a brie and I think a different one, but the cookie one is what caught my attention with some like vanilla ice cream. Mmm, I can taste it already. I also picked up some candle tapers. I'll show you guys those over there. I saw these and I thought, Perfect for serving, they're a little, but yeah, I'm so happy that there's now a linen chest in Fairview. That's the one that I went to. It's nice and new and beautiful and huge. They had so much stuff. So yeah, if you're looking for good hosting things or just holiday decor, I would definitely re recommend checking them out. And they also have a website. I've ordered from them many times. Like I got my blender from there. I actually also got my like Cuisinart toaster oven thing that I use literally every day from there. They just have so many things. So if I can find these things on their website, I will definitely leave them linked down below. So I placed these little tree things here now on my coffee table and I think they look so cute. I placed the, I need to get something to put in it, but I think it just looks so cute. The little pot in the middle with the trees, it kind of ties into the trees there. Um, and then we have Mr. Leonard here with his new Ugg blanket that he loves. And then over here on my little centerpiece on my island, I put the candle tapers. You can see they're like a creamy white and they're just absolutely perfect there. I love that little centerpiece. So these are the plates I got from Linen Trust when I first moved. You can see it has like the gold rims. I've used these so many times, they're perfect for hosting. And look, I feel like this would look so cute. Even if you had like a little charcuterie area, you can put cheese and crackers. Um, and then this is the salad bowl that I use literally every day. My pride and joy, I'm obsessed with it. And the little salad servers just sit on the side. These are all favorites, these are so cute. We just realized that my hyper chiller is not in the freezer, I thought out. <laughs> and so we have to brew the coffee and then cool it. So for this, I actually have, I don't know if you guys remember, a long time ago, I, is this still good even? I got, sure. I got this giant thing of white chocolate mocha, sugar-free white chocolate flavored sauce. And my favorite drink at the moment at Starbucks is a white chocolate mocha with peppermint cold foam. So we're gonna try making that. How cute is that? 24 days of tea. So I have um, silk almond milk and then I also have a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And then Nikki brought over the candy cane sweet sensation naturally flavored syrup. So this is what we're gonna put in the foam. I'm going to add some almond milk. Going to add just a splash of um, whipping cream. Ooh, no we're not. It's curdled. It's moldy. Splash of this just to give like a really nice sweet vanilla flavor. I can't believe that cream. And just then- A dollop. Nikki will add a dollop of, you think that's it? You wanna add more? Like maybe I'll, that's good. I'm gonna make this into a nice hot foam. And put some white chocolate mocha sauce into here. Okay, let's smell it. It's an interesting smell. Interesting. Looks good. Would you like to do the honors? No, you do it. I'm a little scared. It's not very good. What's wrong with it? <laughs> what does it need? It tastes like watered down. In the cold one, we do more of this and more of this and less of that. If any. Well, all of this is a little poisonous. 
I know you love adding almond milk to your coffee. I don't know why. Well, not a, a full jug, just a little. Do you think it's cold? Do you just stick your fingers in the coffee? <laughs> Two fingers? <laughs> it's so warm, Tomsy. Okay, so we made the ice version a little bit different. If you want to see how we did it, check out my reel on Instagram. Oh my God, so much better. Is it really good? So much better. I do think it would be better if we had the right creamer, but taste it. And I think we could even use more peppermint. Mmm. What do you think? I agree. We could, if we had the right creamer, I'm gonna leave this here. If we had the right creamer with the peppermint, ooh, it's really good though. It is. Honestly, it almost tastes like Starbucks. Yeah. I went to the pharmacy looking for the right creamer today, and they were all out. Mmm. The best. It's really good. That was the perfect amount of white mocha too. Oh, it's really good. Don't order it at Starbucks. Make it yourself. We went to Sephora because I needed to pick up a new foundation. You guys know I love the house lamps, but I have really bad news. I think it's breaking me out. I think it created this whole situation on my forehead and I'm gonna stop using it for a while, but I had to pick up a refill of my favorite foundation. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Punjab. It's the best shade for my skin tone. I have a few other ones and they just don't do it for me. Like a few other shades. Um, and then I picked up the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I actually really also like the one from the pharmacy. The real reason I went there is because my favorite eyeliner in the world, the Makeup by Mario eyeliner is my favorite eyeliner, but it is sold out. It's been sold out. I can't get my hands on it. So I was like, let's test out a few new ones. There was a really nice person at um, Sephora who was really helpful, and he was... Sh his name was Alexander. Okay, he was... I'm sorry, I don't want to know his gender. No, I know, but his name was Alexander. Um, So he was showing me different eyeliners, and he showed me this one, because I like... I don't want brown black. I want, like, brown. So this is the Sephora 12-Hour Colorful Crayon Waterproof. If you don't want the smudginess in your inner corner, you need waterproof. Also, um, sharpening pe sharpened pencils are the su superior kind of pencil, because you can get, like, a nice far... And Fine points. Look, I was swatching all of them and they wouldn't come off my hand. But this one has like a really nice bronzy-ness to it. It's really nice. Can you see the bronze in there? It's the one size Point Made 24 hour. Oh my gosh. Who's leaving their eyeliner on for 24 hours? And I hear your mother. Another brown. Oh, that's a pretty brown. A little bit darker. And then um, I heard a lot about this one, the Cali Ray. Leo's home. I started doing my makeup and I realized I've actually never showed you me using the For Your Bear. I mentioned it in my gift guide and I got so many comments about it. Don't mind my forehead. The change of seasons has had my forehead breaking out. It happens every year. But we're just gonna not pay attention to that. I've been trying to figure that situation out. Like I said in the gift guide, this is a microcurrent device. It's actually the safest microcurrent device because it has an anti-shock system. Um, and then it also has a, it also delivers T-sonic pulsations, which really help, I find, in the morning with like depuffing of my face. So you have to use it with a water-based serum. I'm going to just put it on this side of my face because that's the side of my face I'm working on right now. Foreo has their serum that I use it with. And I find it works best when you like put quite a bit on. It just makes it glide really nicely. So then it connects with Bluetooth. You press start massage, turn it on, it's connecting. So I'm gonna go pretty high with the microcurrent, like eight and probably a three with the pulses. You can even use a mirror on your phone, but look at this, how crazy it is. That's not me lifting it. That's the microcurrent pulses. It's like a workout for your face, you guys. So I used to get brow lifts pretty regularly, but I haven't gotten one in forever. And this really <laughs> lifts my brow and I've noticed like it really opens my eye more as well. You really don't have to do it like that many times before you see results. You see immediate results, but then there's also a lot of like long-term benefits as well, like fine lines, wrinkles. So I do this, like I said before, basically I do my makeup all the time. I find it gives me like a really nice contoured look and then you turn it off. It's literally that quickly and my eyes just appear so much like more open I just absolutely love it. So like I said, they're having um, a discount right now. I wanted to mention it. Okay, so now let's do some makeup. I'm going for a really natural 
look today. Um, I think I'm just going to use my Summer Fridays CC Tinted Moisturizer Cream. I've been loving it. I mentioned it in my Sephora Fluorids video and I'm still loving it. My skin, like I said, has been very dry. That's why I'm experiencing like these blemishes, these breakouts. It happens all the time. At the beak, when like it starts getting cold and it takes like a few seconds for my skin to acclimate. And I'm gonna put my eye cream. Can't do my makeup without eye cream. I also got these new primers, um, which I've been loving. They're from, I got two, both like a pore primer. I got the Rare Beauty, um, Pour Diffusing Primer, and then the Vanish Airbrush Primer. I kind of use both of them. I like them because they smooth your skin, but they aren't dry and they don't feel like a putty. I feel like a lot of pore primers really look like a putty and I just can't have that at the moment. So then I go in with a little bit of the airbrush, especially when I'm using a really low um, amount of coverage. I like putting a primer on that's going to help like smooth out everything. So I'm gonna go in with this. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. The Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. I use the shade four. I apply this with my fingers. I'm sorry the lighting in here is actually not that good. I literally just pour it on like this. I love the texture of this. It feels so hydrating on my forehead. It doesn't have, like I said, a lot of coverage, but the way it makes my skin look, I just love it. And I've been loving even just applying this and then going in a little heavier with concealer at nighttime because my skin is really so dry. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. And it sticks on your skin. I feel like it has a little bit of a sticky texture, um, but not too sticky where it's like hard to use. It sticks on your skin. It doesn't really glide around. I feel like it's just a really nice base. Like I said, I've been using this at nighttime even. For during the day, it's a really, really good tinted moisturizer. This is by far my favorite tinted moisturizer I've ever tried. For my concealer, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Huda Beauty. Really high coverage. It's a matte concealer, but I don't find it too matte. So I'm just gonna go in a little here, a little here, a little here. And then, I'm sorry, I'm doing it like in the monitor. I'm gonna go in and like spot conceal all these like dots I have on my forehead. That's for me being bad and picking. And then I go here, here, and here. And I like kind of doing my concealer in layers instead of smacking on a bunch all at once. For my, also, I use the shade Cotton Candy. This concealer is so good. It really is so good. I still, even though I use the skin tint, I still like like a glam, like full coverage look, but this just doesn't feel heavy. And like I said, if you have dry skin, this is perfect. That's all I'm gonna do for my concealer. <laughs> Half the tub is on my face. I'm gonna go in um, with the Merit Contour Stick. I have the shade Sane, S-E-I-N-E. -E. It's a bronzing balm. So I love this because it is so creamy. It just gives you a really dewy look. And for my no makeup makeup days when the base is like a little bit less intense, it works so well. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my It Cosmetics brush, but I'm gonna just dab it in place. I don't want to kind of drag it around everywhere. Huda Beauty needs to make a pressed powder. I actually got two new things from Amazon. I got this makeup bag. I saw, oh my gosh, I found this girl on Instagram. I can't think of her name at the moment, but she, I'll leave her in the description box. She showed this like knit checkered bag. It's vacuum sealed like a steak. It's so cute. It's like a little knit makeup bag. I have product all over my hands. I'll show you guys it better later. But I got these triangle makeup sponges from Amazon. I'm gonna try this. Gets right up in the nooks and crannies. With the best powder in the world, Huda Beauty. If you have issues baking and you find it looks cakey, try setting your face first. So I'm not gonna go in and bake on wetness, just a tiny little bit and press it into my under eye. And he's applying a eye Tula cream. eye cream. If you put like a very little bit under before you bake and set the actual product, it doesn't feel heavy. It really helps um, with the heaviness and then pressing it into your skin is also going to like get rid of all of the pores. I love this powder. I don't know how I went so long without using it. Okay, so then I still am gonna go in and bake a little bit here. And I know you're saying this is a soft glam look. I know this is my soft glam. 
So I just kind of go, I kind of shaved off the end of my brow. That's also something that you do like once a year. Shave off my brow. Yeah, and then you're over it and you grow it back. That Look at that. That pretty. But at the front, I just do little swipies up, like little hairs. Do you want a, your stand-up mirror? No thanks, I'll just use this. Ooh, not bad, although this looks a little bit dry. Whatever. You can't have it all. We're dry girls right now. I know, but at least you don't have like the Appalachian Trail on your forehead. <laughs> but you know I usually get the Appalachian Trail around my mouth. Are you PMSing? No, Nikki. <laughs> Why did you bring up a, the IUD today? Because someone commented, like, responded to my story saying she loves her hormonal IUD. And I think I blamed my depression on it when I was actually just in a shitty relationship and depressed. So, what did you decide? I'm going to change my uh, copper IUD back to our hormonal IUD. We. We are. But I just need to find a gynecologist. My freaking gynecologist up and left me. I picked up another one of my favorite mascaras today. Except they need to make it in brown. Like this is, they only have brown black. They need a true brown. And I think I'm not gonna put anything on my eyes. I'm trying to have an actual day look so there's a difference like between day and night because normally I just always look like intense. So let me see. I love that Hailey Bieber vibe. Yeah, I mean this is like way more. Do you, do you see her doing her makeup? She puts like one dot of concealer. <laughs> She's so pretty, it's disgusting. I, I know. Love her. And we're setting our alarms for the road peptide lip treatment. If I don't get that this time, I'm suing. This mascara is truly the best in the West. And the East and the North and the South. Look at that. It just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't look like that on you? No. But everyone is. has different needs. Makeup isn't one size fits all. Nothing is one size fits all, baby. Only a Brandy Melville. How haven't they been canceled yet? No it's like one size is actually just extra small. And they sell jeans. I know. I'm not gonna lie, I got some new eyeliners. I'm going to just tight line my eyeball. Wow, it takes so much less time when you don't do eyes. Do you remember when Tati created a thing called the Blendiful? It was actually really good. This is actually reminds me of that. Yeah, didn't you have it? Mm-hmm. But I used it until it was too dirty and then never washed it. And then I never uh, used it again. <laughs> Tony has a problem. She doesn't clean her brushes. I'm going in with the Hourglass Blush in Loyal on a brush. I watch this um, girl on TikTok, Anastasia, I think her name is. Oh, of course. She's so pretty and she always has so much blush on and it always looks so good on her. So I'm going to try putting a lot of blush. Tony, what's your trick of bron getting bronzer to be blended in perfectly? Never lift your bl brush. I said that? Yeah. Oh, never <laughs> lift your brush. Slap it on and never lift your brush. When did I say that? One time when I was like, how do you always make the bronzer look so good on me? And you said, I don't lift the brush. Wow, look at me being philosophical. And I only line the middle. And remember we have that bronzer on our lips already? And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the Summer Fridays gloss lip balm which I need to get another one of. Then for highlight I'm going to put a little bit of this Pillow Talk beautifying face palette. The blushes in here aren't very good. All right I think that's the makeup. All done. Let me know what you think of the no eyeliner. I always leave my vitamins or my probiotics up here instead of downstairs because when I'm cleaning up my mess Look at this water bottle too from Lululemon. It matches my seed probiotics. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was my um, sparkling soda shine mist. Smells. That smells amazing. I know. All their products smell so good. I have gotten so many DMs about how I have been doing my hair recently. I'm gonna show you guys, don't worry, I don't gatekeep things. Then I'm going in with a little Fix Plus setting spray. I like this one because it's alcohol free. I always love breathing in my setting spray. Do you? No. It's like so, it like tingles my brain. This is so cute. Ooh, it's a little trippy. I like it, it's like a knit. I don't know why this is so yellow. All right, I just did my skincare. I look 
so shiny because as soon as I get home now, I'm washing off my skincare. Anyways, that's not the point. The day you're seeing this is the day I'm filming this because I have a very important message for you and it is this. It is that Bose has a truffle salt cheese. If you've never had Bose and cheese, specifically the garlic one, you're missing out. By the way, I'm cooking chicken in the back. Anyways, let's try this. I don't know what I'm gonna put it on though. I need to find a, some sort of cracker. I don't have um, crackers in this house. All I have are these like Tostitos. Ideally, I would put this on like a nice baguette, but I just don't have that. So we're gonna just, just work with what we got. Honestly, I could eat this stuff with a spoon. So a little ASMR cheese for you, a little close up first sneak peek if you guys know me at all you know my favorite food in the whole world is cheese and like a lot of people commented on my video saying like your skin issues might be linked to dairy I don't like drink milk I don't eat yogurt I find it hurts my stomach the only thing I can't cut out is cheese so let's give this a try Nope, nope, nope. That's the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. I will be here eating this until further notice. Also, another PSA, this sucks. Orange and turmeric, not good. I don't like this brand, but it's all that my Walmart had. Um, oh, I also got this lamp for my office it looks like wood it's not wood like it really looks like wood the artist deserves a raise um and then i also picked up some more of my favorite socks they also had a really cute teddy coat i don't need any more coats and then i just got my gum they have huge packs of gum e10 is the person who showed me that but I'm going to just be here in case you're wondering, eating this whole thing of cheese, waiting for my 12 pieces of chicken breast to cook. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out all of the linen chests and everything I mentioned in the video down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye!